All right, man. This is sir, sir, man. I'm back again. Yeah, I'm back again, man. And it, I, this is a question I want to ask you guys, man. Do you think we are alone in the world? Huh? I mean, really. Do you think that we are the only ones in the universe and you got billions and billions of damn galaxies out there and then our galaxy is just one the Milky Way is just one galaxy and then you got a billion stars there and planets and they're all laying around the sun so are we alone now I'll tell y'all something now. if y'all gonna get into this party get to the part I got 30 minutes um you know that story about when Zico saw the wheel way up in the middle of there that was a spaceship because what was flying back then I'm just saying what was flying back then and then they have what you call hieroglyphics of flying flying machines in there hey baby how you doing how you doing how y'all got doing hey cook how you doing they got hieroglyphics showing different spaceships back then. So are we alone? Come on, y'all talk to me now. I got 30 minutes, man. Push some lights, whatever. Are we alone in the universe? I'm just saying. Because let me tell y'all something. Break some down for y'all now. Now, you know, the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across. And you know, one light year, hey, um, I can't, I can't even say that. Um, one light year is 6.6 .6 trillion miles. One light year now, 6.6 .6 trillion miles. And the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across. And you mean to tell me with that one guy, hey, Teresa, how you doing? You mean to tell me that one galaxy, Milky Way here, that we are the only ones in the universe? I don't believe that. Riley, how you doing? I don't believe that at all. Do you believe it? I'm just saying, are we the only one? Y'all leave a comment on this. Are we the only ones in the universe? Come on now. Y'all tell me something. Y'all believe it? You know, because I'm going to tell you something else too. Now check this out now. Y'all listen to me on this. I want y'all to listen to me. No, I don't believe it. Teresa, you don't believe it. So how can how can you have billions and billions of galaxies and you think that we are a unique planet and there's no other life form out of billions and billions of galaxies? I beg the difference there, but I appreciate you coming. But let me tell you something. When Christopher Columbus was coming over here, he wrote, this is in 14 something. He wrote in his um, journal that something came out the water and flew straight up in there. He wrote this. You can fact check me on this. This is back in 14 something. I believe. I don't think we're the only ones. That'd be impossible. I don't think so. Come on, y'all leave a comment on there. Y'all think we the only ones? And then, what, Phoenix about 10, 12 years ago? A damn triangular ship, biggest four football fields, flew over damn Phoenix, Arizona, and they got footage of it. Now, it could be one of our tests, you know, because, you know, how can I put it this way? Y'all listen to me on this. Do you know that um, G5? The band, hell, the unit, uh, the, the government was using that back in the in the sixties. They just let us have it. Now, five G. It been hey Angelo, how you doing? It just came out, but they had it back in the sixties. Yeah. So when they tell you something, hey uh, Angelo and uh, Tom, hey, when they tell you something, something's gonna come out. It's already been done. Now, okay. Let let's get a little bit deeper now. What about Area 51? Huh? Area 51. Now, they know something crashed there. And it wasn't us. And it wasn't Russia. And it wasn't Germany or none of that. They know for a fact that some crashed Area 51. And why you think it's so secretive? You can't get within 100 miles of that place. They got security everywhere. And then the planes that go down and come out ain't got no serial numbers on them. That's the only place in the world that don't have no serial numbers on them going into Area 51. Now, y'all explain that. Now, allegedly, it goes down about six, seven floors. I mean, it's deep. So I'm asking you guys this. 
I'm asking you guys this now. Hey, man, I didn't like what they said about Mark Robson. I'm with him. He a man of God. And then if he ain't, he, he fooling everybody. They say, man, he, he watched transgender porn. How can you get off on that? And tell me he want to bring back slavery. I don't believe that. I do not believe that at all. Man, y'all push me some likes, man. I'm not doing this for nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. But yeah, ain't like he said he does that. It's his own words. Really? He said that for real? Look at him. I got to do my research on that then. No, I don't believe that. No, I don't believe If they show me some documents or some videos of him, then. No, I don't believe that. No, I don't believe If they show me some documents or some videos of him, I believe it. Some videos of him, I believe it. But I don't believe that. Because let me ask you something. If this, if this is what he said, how can he be lieutenant governor? If the pen came out, it's not making any sense. Definitely do look into it more. Okay, okay, Mr. Sunday, I'll look into it more, but why, why didn't he come by when, when he got lieutenant governor? Now what I'm asking you guys, why they didn't do it then and bring this out? Can I see this shirt that you got? Hell yeah, shit. Hell yeah. Fuck your feelings, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Trump 2024. Fuck your feelings. Damn yeah, right. I'm with him. Hey, you know something? Me and my wife went to IHOP today, man. Everybody looking at me. Like I crazy. She say, my wife say, damn, baby, everybody look at you. I said, it's supposed to. <laughs> 2024. 47. They supposed to look at my shirt. They can't say nothing. Entertainment purposes only. They can't say nothing. I'm not in. I'm not from the North Carolina. Didn't know of him until yesterday. Wow. Man, he's a great speaker, man. I think if he got me food and I got a big, I got a big, I I got, I could tell a person's char character. And I, I don't believe until they come out with some documents or some stuff like that, man. But anyway, hey, how you doing? Dante, how you doing? Man, are we the only ones in the universe? I'm getting off the subject. I'm getting off. I'm talking about Mark Robinson. I want him to win anyway. I wish I could go up North Carolina and vote for him. I do. But. Are we alone in the universe? Ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody talking, man. Are we? Now, I just told you about Christopher Columbus. And then, you know, they found some um, little whatnots, you know, that you sit on the shelf. And um, documents, uh, do you see how he treats people and talk about them? I haven't seen that. I don't know. Valerie, I don't know that now. Did you watch him talk? I don't know about that. I just like his speeches. And he seemed like he got it going on up here. To me. And then, you know, hey. If he got everybody food, he got everybody food. But I like the man. And I don't like him because he's black either. I've done that one time before. Voted for Obama. <laughs> what a mistake that was. You know, but hey. It is what it is. To me, you learn from your mistakes. You really do. Yes, I did. All he does is mumble. I don't know that. Every time I've seen him speak, he'd be very, he'd be very adamant about what he's saying. And he'd be serious too. So I can't say that. I don't know. Anything like that. But the main subject, what I'm talking about, are we alone in the world? Ain't nobody saying that. Well, let me ask y'all something. Uh, do you know you cannot fly over the North Pole and the South Pole? And then if you was to, or pull up on Google Map, they were not sure they got it blocked up. Now, there's a theory. There's a theory now that uh, we got a center, you a, a, a center in the center in the earth. Now, General Byrd, back in the 40s, he said he flew in there and they took over his plane and everything. And um, these people, like seven feet tall, and you got an inner sun and all that down there. Allegedly now, I'm not I'm not giving them false, false information, but he put in his document, General Bird. They got an inner earth. And people staying down in there. Yeah. I don't know. But I tell you one thing. Earth. And people staying down in there. Yeah. I don't know. But I tell you one thing. I tell you this. If you if people think that we are the only people
people in the universe. Hey, I'm going to say this again. Y'all come, come in here, join the party. Y'all come in here and join me. Listen to me now. One light year is 6.6 .6 trillion miles. One light year now. And the Milky Way, where we are, we we at the arm of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a hundred thousand light years across, so that's a hundred thousand times six point six trillion miles. So the Milky Way big, and you got billions and billions thousand times six point six trillion miles. So the Milky Way is big, and you got billions and billions of stars, and you got billions and billions of planets that isolate in the stars, and that just in our our galaxy. Do y'all believe it? I see people coming in, people going out. Do y'all believe it? I see people coming in, people going out. I appreciate y'all push your likes, whatever. But um, do y'all believe we the only ones in the universe? I want to eliminate assumptions and learn. Can you request me to join? I have a real question to ask. I don't know. I want to eliminate assumptions and learn. Can you request me to join? I have a real question to ask. I don't know how to do that. I really don't, Greg. I don't know how to do that, man. All this new to me, man. I don't have no idea. Is that that's some type of porn code? <laughs> what about the hanging in in the South to black people? Now I saw that I saw the truck driver. Um allegedly um he went in Walmart and came out and they thinking that he might have hung himself. Well, let me tell y'all something. You can't hang yourself at eight feet. He was hanging eight feet up. You can't do that. That's impossible. Now I can understand two feet or three feet. Or six feet, you kick the chair out and hang yourself. But I'm a damn, you can hang yourself at eight feet. Now you dang like eight feet tall, I don't believe that. I think somebody was involved in that. I ain't gonna say, I ain't, I ain't gonna throw no jabs at nobody or nothing like that. But they, they need to get the uh, FBI in there. They need to do a full investigation. That's what they need to do. Cause I can't speculate, I ain't gonna lie about it. But it seemed kind of suspect to me. How can you hang yourself and you dangling eight feet from the ground? I'm just saying, Steve, you agree with me? I think it's impossible. You're damn right. It's another one yesterday hanging. Really? Where? Joe, what state? Really, man? Man, you know, where? Joe, what state? Really, man? Man, you know some. I think it's impossible. This happened for real yesterday. I mean, you ain't pulling by leg, are you? This happened for real. Leg, are you? This happened for real. And that's you, you know some. And that's you, you know some. Uh, it won't happen here in Florida. Cause everybody got So everybody down here told. Now you go to Texas too. Everybody be told. So you plan on hanging somebody? You better be careful who you pick. Cause in the state of Florida, anybody can bear arm. In Texas, anybody can bear arm. So you better watch who you picking and everything. If this is true, allegedly, man. Y'all give me some likes, man. But yeah, that's kind of sad. Um, he's 21 years old, man. He's an independent driver too. He's trying to make, you know, trying to make a living. Yeah, I don't think he even had any kids or nothing like that, man. He's trying to make a living, man. You know, and allegedly they say he got pulled over. Now, whatever happened out there, I don't have no idea. But he was parked at Walmart. But they say the police, uh, the um, law enforcement pulled him over. Now, what happened during that time? Hey, Keith, how you doing? What happened during that time? I don't have no idea, man. But I know he did. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. He got to have some type of type of marks or braces on his body because I don't think he just let them just hang him. He had to be able to fight or something. 
I would have. Hell, if you're going to hang if you're going to hang me, you might as well shoot me before you hang me. Because I ain't, I ain't letting that happen. I, hey, I got to do it to my lad, bro. You know, so I don't know what happened. It's crazy, man. It's all on the news and all that, man. It's crazy, man. I, I don't know. I don't have no idea. But um, an 18-year-old, too? Wow. I haven't heard nothing about that now. Damn. Now, that's crazy, that now. I don't know what's going on. So we got copycats. We got people trying to shoot 47. I think you got copycats, people hanging people now. Really? Well, the only thing I got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you, it won't let the family see him. Really? Why? Joe, why? I'm giving you, it won't let the family see him. Really? Why? Joe, why? Why they won't let the family see him? Because I know he got marks on the body. I know he tried to fight. Hell, in Anybody would do that. Anybody try to, somebody trying to hang you. Ain't anything. You ain't gonna hang me. The world is a dark place lacking love and God. Greg, I, I agree with you on that. The bad boy of TikTok, nobody tried to shoot 45. I don't know what that means, bad boy. I, 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 I don't know what point you're trying to mean about that. I don't understand that. You might have to put in layman terms for me because, you know, I am 66 years old. You got to put in layman terms. <laughs> How much time I got, man? I got I got 10 minutes with you guys, man. I see people coming in and out. Evidently, I'm boring to everybody. But when nobody asks me, when nobody answer me, are we alone in the universe? I guess and don't nobody want to even talk about it. Huh? I'm talking about really. Now, y'all, now, if you know, I'm, he's saying assassination was fake. Man, you know, my brother said that. He's a Democrat. And he, he way out there. You know, you could be misled. Uh, I don't think it was fake. I don't, how, how can you fake an assassination? I'm trying to really. How can you fake an assassination? You can't do it. I don't think you do it. And then, and, and then you kill somebody. Unless they paid him to die. And I don't believe that. Hell no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Hey, you could blow that, blow that up somebody else's ass. I don't believe that. Nope. I don't believe it at all. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. But... Anyways, man, so ain't nobody talking about are we here in the universe or are we the only ones. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody got nothing to say. Yeah, I ain't talking about no space aliens and no stuff like that. They, do you think that we are the only ones in the universe? And the universe is a big place. And then you guys know that we steady expanding. I mean, our galaxy, the Milky Way is moving like one point some million miles an hour. And they've been doing that since the beginning of the time. I have a question about supporting Trump and hate. Too long to type, Greg, you funny. <laughs> look, man, I, look, I will tell y'all this yesterday, man. I go by personal actions. I don't go by what they say. Anybody can say any damn thing. I go by their actions. If you can't show me no actions, I ain't about that. But like I said before yesterday, they say he want to be a dictator. Well, why he ain't do it when he's in office last time? Now I'm asking y'all. Why he ain't do it the first time? If he want to be a dictator, why he ain't do it the first time? See all that's e-shit. And I keep telling y'all, e-shit is elephant shit. A hell of a lot more than bullshit and horse shit. Pull up an elephant shit. Shit everywhere. Trust me on that. I don't believe it. I think it was real. Now, this crazy guy right here. That they just called, I see more hate to African-American Trump supporter from African-American Democrat. Um, maybe so. But Greg, first of all, I ain't no African-American. I ain't from no damn African. Now I ain't looking at myself like I'm black. I tell you what, I'm a Detroit. I was born in Detroit. I ain't no damn African-American. People kill me with that. African-American. I ain't from no African. I was born right here in Detroit in Hudson Hospital in 1958, um, September the 4th. So I don't I don't do that. African American my ass. I'm a Detroit. I ain't about that. So so if African American Democrats got a problem with Trump, well that's their business. I don't care. I'm looking at me. Cause see, my eyes have been opened up. That's why I don't want to type it. Came off wrong. <laughs> Greg, you all right, man? Greg, you all right? Did he hurt my feelings? Shit. 
Hey, yeah, you ain't hurting my feelings, but man, I ain't from no damn Africa. I don't say people kill me with that. And then they try to wear all that, you know, dashiki and all that. They don't even wear that shit over there. They wear Nikes. <laughs> they wear other stuff over there. People trying to show their heritage. Man, damn that. I'm from Detroit. I am a Detroitian, right? Not African. I'm Afro-American. Now that's funny though. I like Afro-American. That's cool. Human first period, all love. It makes me sad that hate people are so abrasive, yeah, to throw around. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you on that. But you know some, the hate gotta come from somewhere. People just don't pull hate out the sky. Somebody had to influence them or something. Yeah, yeah, somebody had to influence them to hate somebody. I, I, I feel some way about a type of race or something like that. Me? Shit come in all colors. They do. Shit come in all colors. And what I mean by that is, um, a piece of shit could be any race. White, black, Asian, <laughs> Hispanic, I don't give a damn. They come in all races. So that's why I'm not racist. I go by the person. I got white friends, black friends, Asian friends. Hell, I got a whole bunch of friends, all races. But I go by the person. I don't go by the color, anything like that. That's certain or not. Yeah, yeah. I ain't racist at all. Especially by the women. <laughs> I don't discriminate by the women either. I'm just, I'm just saying. Sir, sir, just saying. <laughs> Entertainment purposes only, man. But no, man, ain't no African American, man. Damn that shit, man. I don't know why people, you know. <laughs> You know, man, you know, so so if you're African American, you can't get no reparation. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. How, how much time I got? I got I got ten minutes for my granddaughter to come out. Let me tell y'all something. Now I've been around for when it was C on your license. Okay? C mean color. And then they went to black. Then they went to, see, color, black. And now they got African American. So I told them on my life, don't put that shit on there. I ain't from no damn Africa. I got black on my, I got B on my life. I ain't from no damn Africa. Hell no, I'm from Detroit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. And you know, people get offended about that. Why? Why you should get offended about something that came out of my mouth would I believe in? I have that right. That's the First Amendment right there. Nothing but respect. Back to work. I got to go. Uh, okay, man. I've seen your video, share, but glad I finally found you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really do. Yeah, I'm trying to do something, man. I don't get paid for this. Greg, I don't get paid for this, man. But just follow me. I, I don't have no problem there. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Greg. See, you can't even say have a blessed day these days. People get offended. I mean, it's crazy. Greg, come see me tomorrow. <laughs> man, I see everybody coming out the room, man, and I appreciate it. I, I ain't get that many likes or anything like that, which I don't get paid for it anyway. But I just want to know what y'all think. Are we alone in the universe? And I, I guess it was a poor topic because ain't nobody coming in the room, you know, so... I'm waiting on my grandbaby. I got eight minutes, man. Y'all want to blow some time with you? Y'all want to pick out a topic while I'm sitting here? I'm good at everything. Almost. I'm 97, three-quarter percent always right on anything. 97, three-quarter percent. Now the other two and a third, yeah. I'm not that good. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Are we the only ones in the universe? I'm asking you guys this. We never stop showing our faith. Otherwise, we have nothing to live for. Greg, I'm with you on that. Man, I thought you were gone, Greg. I, I believe that. I believe you have to believe in something. You have to. If you don't believe in nothing, uh, if you don't believe in nothing, ain't no point in you being here. You gotta believe in something good and you hey Amber, yes. You doing okay, Amber? Do you believe that we the only ones in the universe? I'm just asking. I got about I got about eight minutes. Good and you. Thank you, Amber. Yeah. So, Amber, where you at? You know, I'm in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, okay, beautiful. It's hot down here. <laughs> I love it. I'll tell you something. I'd rather sweat than freeze. Tell you that now. I was going to buy my house in Detroit. I changed my mind. Man, it get cold up there. I'm talking about stupid cold. 
And I own a house in Atlanta. You know, I stay in Florida, but hey, it's stupid cold up there. But I'd rather sweat than freeze. Because once my hands get cold, or my feet get cold, that's a wrap. I'm going inside. <laughs> I'm serious about that, man. Yeah, man. But uh, ain't nobody talking about aliens. I, I picked a bad topic today, and I'm sorry. I'll try to bring some better Monday. Cause I don't go live on the weekend. Oh, I'm going to Orlando. Matter of fact, I'm leaving tonight. Yeah, I'll go live tomorrow. Yeah. I'll go live tomorrow. I'm going to Orlando. Man, I'll pick a spot and go live and have y'all join. If y'all ain't got nothing to do, I mean, instead of watching college football, which I would be doing that too. But uh, I'm going to Orlando tomorrow. For every bad, there's a good. Man, not too good. Yes, there is good out there. I believe that. There is some good people out there. And, and, and I'm talking about police officers, sheriff, and everything. It's a, it's a hell of a lot of good people out there. But the thing about it is when one person do something, they spoil the rest of the batch. That's the problem right there. They spoil the rest of the batch. Hell yeah, there's some good people out there. I believe that. And I'm talking about men and women in all colors, too. I believe that. Hell yeah. Green, I believe you on that. Hell yeah, man, not too good yes there yes sir yes oh marvin okay yeah there's some good people out there man but you know the thing about it when one person do something bad they try to put on everybody else so everybody bad hell i ain't perfect hell i've been locked up a few times i mean i, I don't steal or no shit like that i ain't kill nobody i know stuff like that you know i just had problem with my driver's license <laughs> i didn't want to put on a seatbelt because a good friend of mine's got killed riding a seatbelt and I wouldn't do it. So every time I got pulled over, <laughs> they locked my ass up, man. But you know something? It dawned on me. When they wanted to do me, give me 12 weekends, because they called me a bitch-ool driver, <laughs> I woke up. The hell, I don't have my license 15 years now. I don't even look back. Hey, y'all hard-headed. But I don't been there. <laughs> I don't been in there. I'm <coughs> Biden moment. I'm tell y'all something. Well, I had to do them 40 some days. And you know, I'm a trainer and all that stuff there. So when I went in there, whole bunch of people in there. It's like about 40 people to a pod, you know, in there. So when I got up that morning, I started doing me some push ups. Done about 400, something like that there. Man, what you doing, man? I'm doing push ups. What the hell are you doing? Make a long story short. I was doing weekends, get there on Friday and leave on Sunday. I only done four weekends because I don't know what my wife done because she worked for attorney office at the time. I don't know what she done, so I only spent four weekends in there. I had a great time in there, man. I had everybody doing push-ups, pull-ups, every damn thing. I changed the game. Yeah, I did. I changed the game. Hell, I had fun while I was in there. Damn thing. I changed the game. Yeah, I did. I changed the game. Hell, I had fun while I was in there. Damn shit. Yeah, yeah. At good. <laughs> All that, man. At fun balls in there. Damn shit. Yeah, yeah. At good. <laughs> All that, man. Look, man, I only got four minutes, man. Are uh, we the only ones? Well, I can't. Look, man, I only got four minutes, man. Are uh, we the only ones? Well, I can't pick this topic no more because ain't nobody talking to me. Yeah. But that Mark Jackson, bitch, they did do that. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to get some proof on that. I did, if, if he watching transgender porn, that's kind of crazy, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't even watch porn. Hell, I'm, I'm my porn star. <laughs> Porn. Hell, I'm my porn star. <laughs> yeah, I'm my porn star. Shit, I don't need to watch nobody. Hell no. I lawn more just fine. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just. Yeah, I'm my porn star. Shit, I don't need to watch nobody. Hell no. I lawn more just fine. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but man, you getting out watching damn transgender porn. That's kind of crazy. I don't, I don't believe it. Look here, man. I see everybody. All right. 
I appreciate the people that came in in the room and everything, man. I'm being Orlando tomorrow. So I, I do a live one. I'll do a live one for you guys, man. But yeah, man, shit. And we are not alone in the universe. If you think we are, and I'm gonna tell you something else before I go. They don't want you to know that there's other aliens because that will mess with the Christianity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see everybody gone now. Hey man, thank you so much for joining my party, man. Sir, sir, network. Mm-hmm. I see everybody gone now. Hey man, thank you so much for joining my party, man. Sir, sir, network. Mm-hmm. I see everybody gone now. Hey man, thank you so much for joining my party, man. Sir, sir, network. Mm-hmm. I see everybody gone now. Hey man, thank you so much for joining my party, man. Sir, sir, network.